All right, welcome back to WMAC Now with your host Chuck Stevenson coming at you with the inaugural Retro Fight Review. For this one, we're going to Deep 28th Impact on February 10th of 2007. Uh, the current, the newly crowned Deep uh, 50 kilogram champ Hisei Watanabe taking on newcomer Sahi Ham of Korea. Looking at the tail of the tape, Watanabe's the older fighter, 26 to Ham's 19. Uh, Watanabe coming in with a record of 17 and 4. She's just coming off a win for the title over uh, Satoko Shinashi. This is, of course, a non title fight. Uh, of course, Ham making her debut. Watanabe slightly taller, 161 centimeters to Ham's 158. And with the weight limit of 50 kilograms, Watanabe came in 48.9 to Hams 48 kilograms. So looking at this fight going in, it looks a lot like this is just a tune-up uh, slash stay busy slash showcase fight for the newly crowned champion Watanabe. Uh, having seen this type of thing before in Japan, they bring over it. excuse me, these Korean fighters that have never fought MMA before, and it's just, it's honestly, coming in, going into this fight, it's looking like a showcase. Okay, so round one, uh, both fighters come out, and they're wearing very unique fight wear. Uh, Hom is wearing something that looks like it was inspired by, like, a racing grill, an umbrella grill that you see at the uh, formula races. And Watanabe's wearing an outfit that looks like something like a grown-up Pebbles from Flintstones would wear. Okay, so they start out a short filling out period. Then Hom starts getting aggressive uh, with both fighters start throwing in the pocket. Uh, a couple clinch exchanges with Hom landing very nice hard knees in succession. Um, at about the 50-second mark, a punch by Hom visibly staggers Watanabe. And uh, Hom starts forcing Watanabe to fight on the back foot and is bullying her in the clinch. And this is pretty much the tale of most of the first round is Watanabe being forced to fight on the back foot, which she is not used to, and getting bullied in the clinch. At about three minutes and five seconds, Hom drops Watanabe, but for some reason, the ref stops it and warns Hom about something. I'm not sure what it was exactly. Uh, Hom apologizes. They... And the action resumes on the feet. At that point, Hom continues to advance, landing knees in a clinch, and uh, punches with Watanabe uh, trapped in a corner. Uh, late in the round, there was an eye poke by Watanabe. Hom took a brief break. And then as the round, in the closing seconds of the round, as the round ends, they are going toe-to-toe -to -toe in the center of the ring. Second round, uh, they come out and... Uh, Hom throws a big left, but is quickly taken down by Watanabe. Uh, Watanabe gets to the side control of Hom. Uh, Hom works the half guard, then full guard, and locks down Watanabe, forcing a stand-up. At that point, Watanabe forces a clinch in the corner, and they're, they're pummeling back and forth. They're working back and forth in the clinch, exchanging positions. Uh, big, And then as they separate, Watanabe's on the inside of the corner, but she throws a big knee to the body of Hom that staggers Hom ba back and she kind of uh, falls back to the ground. Um, Watanabe goes, she starts standing over and Hom is waving her legs defensively, uh, looking to, <coughs> excuse me, looking to land an up kick. But um, Watanabe is able to successfully pass her legs and land in Hom's guard. And on the ground, every time Hom gets taken down, she is completely defensive, uh, mainly just trying to lock Watanabe, or lock Watanabe down, trying to restrict her movement as much as possible to, <coughs> excuse me, force the referee stand up. Uh, so Watanabe getting a little frustrated with the closed guard, basically picks Hom up and slams her down at about the 250 mark, but it's unsuccessful. Hom's still able to maintain a closed guard, forcing the referee to stand it up. Um, 
Watanabe again goes for another takedown, but it gets stuffed, and they start exchanging in the pocket again. Uh, Hom is still being the aggressor, uh, forcing Watanabe to clinch in the corner. Uh, it gets broken up. They clinch again in the opposite corner, and it's broken up again. It's a couple clinch, uh, clinches that get broken up fairly fast by the referee. From there, they start exchanging more in the, at range and in the pocket. Some nice exchanges between the two. And then within about 15 seconds left, Watanabe, no pun intended, starts going ham. She starts getting wild and aggressive and just trying to throw everything she can at home, trying to uh, secure the round, but it goes to a close. Uh, so it goes to the judge's decision, and holy crap, oh, Sahi Hom makes her successful pro debut against the current deep champion, Winning the unanimous decision on all, th winning all three judges' scorecards, huge upset. I mean, huge. Can't begin to talk about how big this upset is. That this girl that nobody had ever heard of before is coming in. She's just supposed to be a showcase fight, and ends up controlling the striking of Deep's knockout queen. Um, Watanabe, I think, had like. 11 wins by knockout or technical knockout at this point in her career. And here comes this girl. This girl comes out of nowhere, and she just beat her. It's insane. Uh, so congratulations to newcomer Sahi Ham. Okay, so things to work on uh, for Ham. Obviously, she's very new to MMA. You can tell she seems to lack a ground game. So she needs to work on her ground game a lot, particularly her bottom game, because she's going to get taken. A lot of fighters are going to want to take her down. They're not going to want to mess with her striking. So she needs to work on her bottom game. She needs to work on sweeps, uh, scrambles. She needs to work on uh, basically fighting to get back up to her stand-up, and that's where she can do her best work. Uh, for striking, she's very aggressive. I think... A little too aggressive and wild. I think she could afford to clean that up. But, I mean, she did just beat someone who tends to usually knock chicks out standing up. So, can't really fault her for the, too much on the st in her stand-up. Uh, as for Watanabe, you know, she is not... She was... Watching this fight, you can tell. She is not used to uh, getting bullied on the feet or in the clinch. Uh, she's not used to fighting on the back foot, so she needs to start practicing that uh, and working on her counter striking. She's used to being the aggressor. Uh, she also needs to work on uh, breaking a, the closed guard of her opponents and are able to uh, pass guard and work from there. Uh, she also needs to work on her uh, hand and wrist fighting on the ground because Han was able to basically grab her wrist or grab onto her neck and lock her down and from there she couldn't land any ground and pound or anything. Okay, so that was the retro portion. Uh, so now it's time to look at uh, where these fighters are now and how this particular fight affected their career. So for Watanabe, it was a non-title fight so she didn't lose her title. Uh, after that, she went on to defeat Masako Yoshida, uh, two, two months later, uh, by armbar in the second round. Then she uh, lost her title to Miku Matsumoto at deep 31 first impact in August of 2007. Uh, then she came back and beat Genkam Lukjua Poakum, sounds like a Thai fighter, uh, by first round armbar at deep 31st impact at the end of Jil uh, 2007. From there, she took a break from MMA for nine years. Uh, she came back at World Series of Fighting Global Championship 2 uh, in 2016, defeating uh, Yeji Lee, who was 0-1 at the time, by knockout in the second round. And then later that year in June, she went to a draw with Jung Eun Park, who was 1-2 at the time, at Valley Tudo Japan in Osaka. Um, that was her last fight to this date. Um, Watanabe is still remembered to this day as one of the preeminent 
knockout queens. A lot of a lot of fight fans have not heard of her, which is a shame because she was coming. She was in that era of where almost all the big fights happening in the women's scene were over in Japan, and you know, internet streaming wasn't what it what it is now. It wasn't like it that back then. So you might not see the fights for weeks or months afterwards. Uh, you had to look for them. YouTube wasn't as big as it is now, but if you can look up uh, anything on Hisei Watanabe, there's some highlight reels out of her just knocking chicks out. And she still remembers that to this day. Unfortunately, her comeback in 2016 was short-lived. I don't know for sure, but I heard rumors that she uh, has alcohol, alcoholism problems. Uh, I hope that's not true, and I mean, it's been a few years now, it's been almost, now it's been like almost four years since her last fight, but she's 39, and she still looked good in those two fights, just not at, at top form, I don't think she was training as good, again, alluding to those problems I mentioned, um, I don't think she'll ever come back, but man, I say what Nabi, just one of the knockout queens. I mean, legit one punch knockout power in a chick who fought between 105 and 110 pounds. Always amazing. Uh, always be a big fan of hers. As for Sahi Ha, huh? I mean, what hasn't been said about her? Uh, she had a very storied career after that. Um, well, not right after that. Right after that, uh, she quickly became one of the more popular fighters on the Japanese circuit, and they did not give her any easy fights after that. So her ne very next fight was against uh, Miku Matsumoto, who was 12-4 and four at the time. Uh, she lost that fight, I believe, by armbar. Let me check here. Uh, she lost by triangle choke in the second round against Miku Matsumoto, which then allowed M Matsumoto to fight uh, Watanabe for the title. Um, then she picked up a couple more wins before losing to one of the all-time greats in Yuka Suji. Uh, picked up a win over Saori Ishioka, and then in only her one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, only her seventh fight, she fought uh, Megumi Fujii, one of the all-time greats. Probably one of the great, one of the greatest of all time, honestly. Uh, losing by uh, armbar in the first round. Then went on to have a nice career in uh, Jules. Uh, went back to Korea for Road FC. Went to the UFC for four fights. Didn't have, uh, unfortunately, she fought at straw weight uh, and for UFC. Uh, only picking up one win and three losses there. Before it returned to Road uh, FC. Uh, becoming the inaugural Atomweight champ there, defending it twice. And then uh, in all last year, she uh, won three fights and in Ryzen FF, including uh, a third fight with Ayaka Hamasaki to become the Ryzen Super Atomweight champ as well, finally beating a longtime rival in Hamasaki, who Helm had lost to twice before in the past. So, uh, Watanabe seems to be fully retired, whereas Hom is still going strong. And this fight, like I said, it was a huge upset at the time. Um, people were shocked by this, couldn't believe it. They had no idea who Hom was. And Hom had only been training MMA for a few months at that point, so huge upset. And just a really great, exciting fight. Um, now, sometimes I like to put the, a link to the fight in the description or the uh, pinned comment. However, I had to do some Google food to find this fight, and it was on, it, for some reason, somebody uploaded it to a site that is, shall we say, not safe for work. So, if you do want to watch this fight, uh, send me a DM on Twitter, at now WMMA, at capital N-O-W, capital W, M-M-A. And I will uh, send you the link so that you can watch this fight. It is a damn good fight. Very fun. Very entertaining. Very much worth watching. Um, so anyway, that's really all I have. Uh, let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Of course, likes are always appreciated. And hey, 
What are you waiting for? Subscribe to WMMAC now, the best, fastest growing women's mixed martial arts dedicated platform on YouTube. Don't forget to hit that bell for notifications. It'd be a lot cooler if you did. And we'll see you next time.